very, very humid outside. So let's talk about these couple different fronts, right? One to our north. We were talking about that. There's the stationary front to our south. As we go through the day tomorrow, that front to our north is going to continue to work its way to the south. As that happens, some cooler air drops into the region. And with that cool air aloft, I think we can spark a couple of scattered showers, especially closer to 127 as we work our way through the afternoon. Then when we go through Thursday night, the sky becomes mostly clear. High pressure builds in. This will be the driving force for our weather conditions both Friday and Saturday, bringing us low humidity levels, limited cloud cover, and also comfortable temperatures. By the time we make it to Sunday, perhaps a little bit more in the way of some afternoon cloud cover and temperatures begin to climb. So tonight we're down into the lower 60s. This will be about 10 degrees cooler than it was in most locations early this morning. The extended forecast again, that chance for an afternoon shower tomorrow. Really, though, most locations aren't going to see rain here on Thursday. Friday and Saturday are excellent afternoons across the region. Very nice mornings here Friday and Saturday as well. Sunday for the 4th of July, no concern over precipitation, but it is going to be warmer and a little more humid. That will likely carry over into Monday as well. And by the time we get to the middle of next week, we could perhaps find ourselves in a little bit more of an active weather pattern.